Hello and welcome to the members area of Meet Cheap. You've made a wise decision in choosing Meet Cheap as your webinar software solution. In this short video, we're going to give you a basic orientation on how to get you started broadcasting fast. Now we do want to let you know this is just an orientation video. For the full features and how to use all the features, be sure that you check out the basic training videos that we have right here. So we're going to show you how to get started. When you log in, you'll be on a screen similar to this. Simply go to the Meet Cheap conference icon right here. Click on that. And I want to scroll down on this page. This is your room URL right here. This is actually where you want to give your viewers the URL to watch your webinars. So you would simply go here, copy this location by right clicking and copying or click control C on a PC. This is the location you give to your viewers. I want to show you how to create a moderator. To broadcast you must be a moderator in your own room. So simply click on the My Room Moderators tab. You'll notice we have no moderators yet set up for our room. So we're going to click Add Moderator. If we scroll down, you'll see that the username and password is already generated securely by the system. Simply type in the moderator's name. In this instance would be your name. You want to type in the email address. And for example purposes, we're not going to use a real email address. And then your room drop down box, if you've upgraded it all and have more than one room, and you can get more than one room by simply clicking the upgrade now button here. We're not going to do that. This is your room, your standard room. Now, if this was a moderator that you were inviting as a guest and going to send them their login details, you may not want to give them all permissions. But for yourself, you'll leave all of these boxes unchecked so that you have full control over your room. Simply scroll down, click OK, and you'll see that the system has created a moderator and a moderator login for us. Now, from the My Moderator tab, if you click on the Auto Login right here, it will automatically log you in as that moderator. Now I want to make it clear, do not copy and paste the URL from the My Moderator tab because people would be logging into your room as a moderator. It's very, very important for you not to give or copy and paste the URLs from the My Moderator tabs unless you're sending this to a moderator that you have created as a guest. Okay, so to give people the room as a viewer, you would click on the overview and you can copy and paste the URL from the overview tab. From the moderator tab, that's where you or any other moderators could log in or you could send the moderator information. If you wanted to, you could go directly to your URL and type in this username and password that was generated securely by the system to log in also. For this example, we're not going to do that. We're going to show you how to use some of the features in your room so that you can be broadcasting really quick. Now again, we want to recommend that you use and watch the basic training videos so that you see a thorough explanation of all of the features that Meet Cheap has to offer. The first thing I want you to do once you're logged into your room as a moderator is click on settings. Now we may get a little bit of a feedback because it's going to test our microphone and our camera. So I'm going to click on settings. And the system is asking me to allow my camera and microphone to be accessed. Simply click allow. And you'll see I'm getting a little feedback because it's testing my microphone. But in this box here you would choose in the drop down box the microphone that you want and the camera that you want here. You can also always go to settings on the fly if you want to change cameras or microphones. But if for some reason you're not modulating, always check the settings tab and we recommend you do that before you start broadcasting. We are all set for our proper microphone and camera, so I'm just going to click cancel. Now, to modulate and start broadcasting, I simply click the talk now button once. You'll see the talk now button turns red, which means that I'm modulating on video and audio. You'll see the audio modulator jumping up and down right here. You can adjust your audio for your viewers if you're modulating too low or too high by just simply scrolling this bar back and forth next to the microphone icon. You want to be modulating just so that you're barely going into the red right here. 
You can also adjust your microphone, your speakers right here with this slider next to the speaker bar and your viewers can do the same thing. You can see I'm modulating with my video and my audio at this point. I'm going to click the talk now button one more time. That will take me off of modulation live in the room. Now, if I did not want to be on video, I could simply just click no video. That's this button right here. And I could click the talk now. And you'll see I'm modulating only in audio. A lot of people choose to do that. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to click the talk now button again to stop modulating through the room. I'm going to turn the video back on. Simply click that video button and I want to show you a few of the basic features but again you want to watch the basic training videos for the in-depth features of all of these tools. The first one is we're on the chat tab. That's automatically defaulted. You can chat with your participants just by simply typing into this box right here and clicking enter or click the send button. One thing I want to remind you is you can put the chat on moderator only so that when your viewers are typing anything only moderators would see what are typed in here. Now I want to forewarn you whatever you type everybody will see unless you choose to person individually. You can also turn the chat off by clicking this button right here. If we click on browser You'll notice our chat goes over to the left hand side under our video. Now I'm not modulating in the room while doing this recording, but you could be chatting while you're talking live with people. You, again, you can turn moderator only on and off here and text chatting on and off right here. Now the browser feature in this box right here, you could type any URL that you wish and it will show up in your webinar room for you and your viewers. Presentation is where you would upload a PowerPoint presentation and it would be converted so that you can stream it online and you would have full functions of going from slide to slide. You'd simply click on the start or upload a presentation, click browse, locate a PowerPoint on your computer, double click on it and it would upload to your webinar room. Now it will be stored in your webinar room for future use also until you delete it. If we go over to whiteboard, that's pretty self-explanatory. You click on whiteboard, start drawing, and your drawing tools show up just like this. And you can draw on the screen or do shapes of any manner that you wish. Video is kind of a neat feature because there's two ways you can do it. You can click on upload or play and you would browse and you can upload any one of these video formats to your room. Once it's uploaded you would see it show up in a list right here and you could click a green button to stream it in your room. Again watch the basic training videos for the full instructions. You can also stream a YouTube video by simply putting the description of your video and the YouTube video URL and it would show up in this box here with a green button for you to stream it. Again, we want you to watch the basic training videos to get a full concept of these features. Desktop sharing is pretty self-explanatory. Simply click on the desktop sharing tab and then down here start sharing. You'll see your screen will show up in a little window when you're broadcasting. Now you'll have many choices for desktop sharing like full screen, window only, selected area. And one other thing that I want to let you know is that you can choose to go full screen so you would activate full screen for your viewers for them to see more of your screen and for better viewing pleasure of them. Just remember when you're done desktop sharing make sure you deactivate full screen and click the stop sharing button. The 4 by mode is just what it says. You can broadcast up to four people. If we had guests or other moderators in the room right now, I could simply drag and drop them into the center and their video and audio would be broadcasting along with mine. A couple features for your guests while we're here is the star button and because I'm already a moderator and I'm moderating right now, I can't click it, but if you had guests in the room they would show up right here. You could click the star and make somebody a moderator on the fly. You can also click this microphone button if people have raised their hand and you can see I have a question here and you can let them come on on microphone only to ask their question. Just make sure when they're done talking you turn their microphone off. So you can see this is a full featured 
webinar hosting solution. It's one of the best in the industries and you've made a wise choice. Make sure you watch all of the basic training videos, but we wanted to get you started fast. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.